Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Friday devotional reflection. As we do each day, we read a selection from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Today is May 8th, and we read the selection again as if Jesus is speaking directly to us. Beloved one, do not long for the absence of problems in your life. That is an unrealistic goal, since in this world you will have trouble. You have an eternity of problem-free living reserved for you in heaven. Rejoice in that inheritance, which no one can take away from you. But do not seek your heaven on earth. Begin each day anticipating problems, asking me to equip you for whatever difficulties you will encounter. The best equipping is my living presence, my hand that never lets go of yours. Discuss everything with me. Take a light-hearted view of trouble, seeing it as a challenge that you and I together can handle. Remember that I am on your side and I have overcome the world. Well, I must admit that when I first read this meditation, I was taken aback. Do not long for the absence of problems in your life. Hey, Jesus, how can you say this to us right now? Our world has become a different place, quarantined, sheltering in place, social distancing, wearing masks and gloves, afraid to go to the grocery store, shelves empty of staple items. How can we not long for the absence of these problems caused by the COVID-19 pandemic? But then Jesus gives us reassuring words through scripture. We read from Isaiah 41, Verse 13, for I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, do not fear, I will help you. And because we know that God is holding us in the palm of his hand, Paul assures us in his letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Jesus tells us that in order to face the inevitable problems of this world, and we surely have them, begin each day by asking him to give you the necessary wisdom, strength, and courage to face whatever difficulties you encounter. We are assured that his hand will never let go of our hand and together he walks by our side. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your words of comfort during this most difficult time in our lives. We thank you for your presence as you hold our hand, accompanying us, walking beside us, and reminding us that we can get through this because we have you in our lives. Lord Jesus, come among us and strengthen us for this day. Amen.